Hi everyone, today I'm going to make, show you how to make a GET request from your React Native app and show the activity indicator while your API call is loading. So first off I'm just going to import that activity import uh, indicator and also use effect and use state. So use state is going to just show me whether it's still loading um, and store the result and use effect will just be done called so that I only call the API once when the um, component first mounts. So I'm just going to have this get content function. Um, what this is going to do is if it's loading, then it's going to return the activity indicator. But for now, I'm just going to return the activity indicator um, as I'll just sort of progressively add code. I'm going to give that a size of large just so it's a bit larger on the screen. And inside that um, rendering part of the component, I'm going to call that get content function. So if I save that, we should see the activity indicator showing on screen. Cool, you can now see that activity indicator showing on screen, it's just spinning around and around. Now we need to go and actually um, make our API call. So let's add some state. We're going to have this state variable is loading and this setter function for it set is loading. And we're going to use state. We want it to default to loading um, when the component first starts up and that's just because we want to show the activity indicator when it's loading. So we'll pass a default value of true there. Then I'm just going to have an error which is basically if there's any error calling the API, maybe I pass the wrong URL or something like that. It's just going to be undefined by default and I'm going to do the same thing for the response from the API. So I'll just go set res um, response will be my um, response state and then set response will set that state. Cool, so now that we've got all our states set up, we can um, code up our use effects. So basically what this is going to do is make sure that we're only calling that API once. Um, if you're looking for APIs to call, just Google free APIs. Today I'm just going to show you a simple get with no headers or anything like that. But I'll do some other tutorials later on that might cover adding headers like authorization headers and making post requests or put requests as opposed to just a simple get request. But a get request is the absolute most basic type of request. You don't need to pass a body or anything. So basically I'll fetch my URL and then... With the response, I want to get the JSON for that. And when that resolves, what I'm going to want to do is I want to handle a result, the response, or I want to handle um, an error if there's any error. So for the result, I'll set as loading to false because we've finished our API net call now. Um, so I want to be able to show some data on the screen. I'm going to set um, the response to be whatever the result is. That will be some um, JavaScript object that's been um, passed from the JSON. And I'm going to want to add a similar thing, but it will handle the error. Just copy and paste that. Okay, so for the error, I want to set as loading to false once again because I don't want to show that activity indicator. I've called the API. It's failed for whatever reason. Instead, I'm going to want to show the error, so I'm going to want to set that error value to be whatever error has happened when I called the API. <coughs> now I'm just copying in... My API URL, basically it's just a Bitcoin current price. Um, so that's quite um, a useful API for a lot of people these days. So I'm going to check 
if is loading, I'm going to return that activity indicator to show that I'm just doing something at the moment. Um, it sort of gives good feedback to the user that there is actually something happening um, rather than just showing a blank screen and the user being a bit sort of perplexed. It sort of gives them the indication that they're waiting for something to complete. And I will want to return API called um, if we've finished loading. I'm going to also do a console log just so I can see exactly what response I have. So I'm going to console log that response. I'm not expecting any error here, so I'm not going to handle that just yet. So yeah, if there is an error, then I'll go ahead and just return a text with the error. But like I said, I'm not expecting an error. So you can see now when I've saved that, it reloads and the API is called and you can see it's logged out this um, JavaScript object here where it's got a US dollar rate for Bitcoin, Euro rate for Bitcoin um, and some other different types of currencies. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show on screen the US dollar rate. So I'm just going to put Bitcoin USD And then I'm going to use the value from my response. So I want to get the US dollar. And if I just go have a quick look at my object once again. Okay, so I need to get it from that BPI property. So it's BPI property and then the currency code. Um, so the USD. Um, so I need to go ahead and go back to my code and um, access the property BPI and then USD. And then I can just use the rate and that will give me the Bitcoin US dollar rate. If I hit save, that goes ahead and loads the API call and you can see my Bitcoin US dollar rate. So that's all I have for you today. All this code will be available on GitHub. If you've liked this content, please like and subscribe for more tutorials.